Hi friends, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to show you how to crochet this beautiful top you see right here. I promise it's so easy to make. It's almost all made with double crochets. So yeah, you can make it in no time. I made this in less than a week. And the first thing you're gonna need is the measurement around here, around this part of your torso. Once you have that, you are ready to go. You can make this in any size that you want because you're gonna build it from here, okay? So if you think you enjoy having one, make sure to keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so to start this beautiful top, I will be using some cotton yarn. I'm using DC from Wick Crochet. If you see my videos, you know this is my favorite one. I will be using my 4.5 millimeter hook and always have some scissors nearby. I'm gonna be using all of these colors, but you don't have to. If you don't want to, you can just do it in one color. This is just what I chose. So the first thing would be to start with the little squares that look like flowers. So I'm gonna start with doing my magic ring. So I'm gonna insert my hook like this, bring in that second loop over here, yarn over it once, and still in my finger I'm gonna do a single crochet and this is sort of like a double crochet without doing the chains, okay? I'm gonna take off my finger and on the left loop I'm gonna insert my hook, yarn over, go through, yarn over and go through two loops. And there you have your first double crochet. So now I'm just gonna do seven more double crochets to complete eight. So yarn over, insert your hook inside the ring, grab your yarn, yarn over, go through two loops, and again, go through two loops. And that is your second double crochet. Again, another double crochet until you have eight in total. Once you have your eight double crochets, you're gonna pull tight on the tail so close the center and slip stitch on that first double crochet you made so insert your hook between those two loops yarn over go through and slip stitch yarn over to do one chain and you can cut off your yarn Pull it up, and that's it for the center of the square. So for the next round, grab your next color, insert your hook right next to where you did your slip stitch, and pull through with your new color, and you're gonna do three chains. And this is part of the stitch we're gonna make, which is four double crochets together. Those three chains count as one double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook in that same space, go through, yarn over, go through two loops, don't close it off, yarn over, insert your hook again in that same space, grab your yarn, go through, yarn over, go through only two loops, and one more time, yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, go through, yarn over, go through two loops. And now you have four double crochets, you're gonna yarn over and go through all the loops on the hook. Chain two, and there you have your first petal. So for the next one, it's gonna be a normal four double crochets together, no chains. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, go through, yarn over, go through two loops. And do that three more times. Once you have your five loops on the hook, yarn over and close it off. Chain two. Keep doing this last stitch until you have eight petals in total. So once you have your eight petals, you're gonna slip stitch on that first stitch you did. Chain one, and you can cut off your yarn and pull it up. So to start the third round for this square, just insert your hook in one of the chain two spaces, grab your yarn, go through, 
And for this one, we're going to do four chains. That counts as a double crochet and one chain. And on the next space, we're going to do three double crochets. So yarn over, grab your yarn, go through, yarn over, go through two loops, and again, go through two loops. So two more. Chain one. And you can go to the next chain two space. Three more double crochets. And this would be your first corner. So chain two, and in that same space, three more double crochets. There we go. Chain one, and do the same thing. Three more double crochets on this space, and on the next space, you're gonna do another corner, okay? So one corner here, a group of three, one corner here, and another group of three here until you get here. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna finish. So I'm almost finished with my square and I'm back here where I started and this is another corner. I did my three double crochets, two chains, and I have two more left because the chain three counts or the chain four, I should say. And slip stitch on the third chain. The fourth one counts as one chain in between. Chain one. And you can cut off your yarn. And that's it for your square. So right now I'm going to show you how you're going to put your squares together. It's pretty simple. I did some off camera. This is the main part of the top that goes around your body. And as you can see, I put all the tails on one side because it's just easier when you want to hide them. I'm going to build my top from this part down and it's way easier to hide the tails and I don't have to go with a needle um, later, just for the, the yellow one. So right now I'm going to do the straps. I'm going to attach myself here. I did three double crochets for a corner and now I'm going to attach myself on this side. And on this side. one chain and then I can complete my three double crochets for that corner. Okay, for this part I just do one slip stitch and then one chain. I don't do two slip stitches. I did it here because I have two squares to attach to but right here I don't do that. I'm going to show you what I mean. Here on the side, I just slip stitch once, okay? And then I do my three double crochets. Slip stitch again on the chain here. Slip stitch on the square closest to you, then on the other one, slip, slip stitch or chain one, I mean, three double crochets, I'm sorry, two, because the I have the chain four right there, okay, I already cut my yarn, so I'm going to slip stitch right here, chain one and pull it up and that's basically it how you attach it just with slip stitches and chain and like i said for the side one on the corner just slip stitch one chain and then you can finish your corner and for the middle just slip stitch and slip stitch and yeah, that's it. Pretty simple to attach. So I'm going to keep doing this off camera. 
until I have the straps completed. I'm gonna put up picture or a number of squares you need on the description just so you know how many you need to make all right so i have finished the top part of this project and this is how it's looking it's a total of 20 squares and here i have my two straps and i'm just gonna attach myself to any corner for this next step And I'm going to do a border of single crochets all the way around. So once you attach yourself, single crochet in that same space. So insert your hook, grab your yarn. Once you have your two loops on the hook, yarn over and close it off. Okay? So you're going to keep doing this, inserting your hook and doing single crochets all the way around, one per stitch. So where I'm at is all around the color here and then I'm gonna attach myself and do it here as well. This is where my arm would go. So doing this two times and then we can begin doing the top from here. I have completed all of my single crochets and I'm at the side here and I'm just gonna slip stitch on that first stitch I made chain one and I can cut off my yarn and that's it for this part like I said I did all my rows of single crochets and this is how it's looking so the next step would be to start building your top from this point so I'm gonna insert my hook on the side here and put in my new color chain one and for this first round I'm gonna do a simple single crochet round so again just insert your hook grab your yarn go through yarn over and go through two loops and you're gonna keep doing this until you get to the beginning again, obviously. And just a tip here, I mentioned I put all the tails on this side because once I get to the tails, I put my hook underneath, grab my yarn, and finish the single crochet. And that way I'm hiding them at the same time. I have gone all the way around and that is how it's looking. And I'm gonna slip stitch on that first stitch I made, chain one, and I'm gonna start my double crochets. The first one, I think you'll recognize, I'm gonna insert my hook on that same stitch, grab my yarn, go through, yarn over, close it off, and on that left loop, insert your hook, grab your yarn, go through, yarn over, and close it off. And that is your first double crochet. For starting the round, the next one is yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, go through two loops, and again go through two loops. So keep doing this, double crochet after another one until you get to the beginning again. So I'm back here again, and I'm gonna do my last double crochet, but I'm not gonna finish it. Yarn over and go through two loops and stop right there, because I'm changing colors. I'm going back to this light blue and I'm gonna finish the double crochet with my new color and I always like to make just a little knot I already cut my yarn as you can see so just a simple knot and then slip stitch on that first double crochet you did and that's how you change colors and start the next round so to start it, you can do the starting double crochet. So again, in that same stitch, insert your hook and do a single crochet and insert your hook on the left loop and do the same thing. Okay. And just keep doing double crochets just like the previous round. And remember inserting your hook underneath the tails. That way you hide them at the same time. So I'm gonna keep doing this row after row until I have the length that I want and I'll meet you there. 
All right, so I have finished all the rows that I wanted. I ended up making 18, and now I'm just gonna change colors yet again to do the final part of this top. I'm gonna cut my yarn right there. And do my slip stitch. chain one and for this first round in this new color I'm gonna do a simple single crochet all the way around so single crochet in that same stitch and just continue doing the same thing over and over I am back here again and so slip stitch once again chain one and for this round you're gonna do a couple of double crochets on the same stitch. So I'm gonna start with this one. And on this same stitch, two more double crochets. Chain one. And now you're gonna skip three stitches. And on the fourth one, three double crochets. Chain one. And that's it for this pattern. So again, skip three. On the fourth one, three double crochets and chain one. So keep doing this until you get to the other side. I am back here again. So I'm just going to slip stitch on that first double crochet I did. Okay, and for this next round, it's just going to be another simple single crochet round and it's going to be one per stitch and one per single um, chain. So on this first one, start with your single crochet and just keep going until you finish the round. Once you complete your round of single crochets and slip stitch on that first single crochet you did, which I already did, and chain one. You're going to do your first double crochet of this round. And for this round, you're going to make two double crochets per stitch. So in that same stitch, make another one. And for the next stitch and so on you're going to make two so i'm back here again and this is how it's looking as you can see the ruffle is forming so let's just slip stitch here to close the round and chain one so for this next round and all the other ones you're just going to do one double crochet per stitch and you're going to do as many rounds as you want usually I like to do maybe four or five for this type of design. So I'll just start with my first double crochet here and just start making double crochets until I finish the round and then I'll start the next one and so on. Okay, so I have completed all of the rows that I wanted and I did my final slip stitch and chain one. So I'm ready to cut off my yarn and I ended up making six rows. Now for the next part, which is the final detail, I'm gonna put a string around the waist, in and out of these little holes. So I already measured my top from side to side. It's around 20 inches, so I doubled that and then I added Five extra inches just to be sure that it's gonna fit and I have a little room to make a bow and I'm gonna use this color so it stands out a little bit once you have your three strands you can just do a knot like this one so they stay together and I'm gonna find a clip and a notebook or a book and I'm gonna pin it so I can make the braid so once you finish your braid 
and you did a final knot at the end, you are ready to put it in the top. So right now I have my top here and this is the middle. So I'm just gonna insert it right there and insert it again on the next part and so on. I have gone all the way around and for this part it's pretty simple. You can just do a simple bow. So once you do this and hide all of your tails, of course, that is it for this beautiful top. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy making this top. If you do make it or have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below. And if you keep enjoying my content, make sure to turn on those notifications and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.